We're getting interviewed by the Today Show in an hour and I'll be honest, I'm freaking out. I'm not very calm right now. <laughs> All right, so Jay and I, we got our vaccine shots, our second one. Woo! I feel like I'm doing a chicken day. Yeah. <laughs> 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 Babe, you can't honestly tell me that you can really see a real diff like a real difference between these, right? We are visiting the newborn. Oh my gosh, there's two of them. Look at your babies. <laughs> Janet and I are getting our second vaccine shot. And then right afterwards, we're gonna film a dear ABG. <laughs> Let's hope that we can uh, stave off the after effects for a little bit. Yeah. From what we've heard, we shouldn't be feeling it for a couple of hours right after we get it. So we're hoping to get it, get in, go do the video, and then go home and pass the fuck out. That's what we're, that's what we're yeah, hoping that's for. Today's, that's today's agenda. <laughs> yes. I'm like really scared for the second shot because I know people are like, people always say, it feels like you got hit by a bus. And I'm like, how do you know what it feels like to get hit by a bus? Like, have you ever yeah. gotten hit by a bus? <laughs> like the doctor whoever slapped me uh -oh. while they Baby. <laughs> All right, so Jay and I, we got our vaccine shots, our second one. Woo! And then we heard that this is supposed to help circulate stuff or add our Franco dough. I feel like I'm doing a chicken day. Yeah. Chicken <laughs> day. <laughs> but yay, stickers! Oh, okay. So uh, today is a very special and I guess momentous day for ABG. We're getting interviewed by the Today Show in an hour and I'll be honest, I'm freaking out. I'm not very calm right now. Um, all of us are pretty nervous. Um, how did I prepare for this time? I went to sleep early and I woke up. I wrote down some mock questions that I think they might ask and I try to answer them. Um, I also called my mom because sometimes my mom is just I need to talk to my mom. I call her before every interview too. We might be on national television. Oh my God. Wish us luck. Uh, how long have I taken down to that one? Well, is it okay. okay. So, topic was Asian Boss Girl, a podcast for the modern day Asian American woman. Helen Wu, Melody Chang, and Janet Wang are the voices behind the Asian Boss Girl podcast. We just finished the interview um, with, the Today, with the Today Show. <laughs> with the Today Show. And. I smell. <laughs> really Honestly, it was like so professional, obviously. Oh my gosh, it was the biggest production that we've ever done. It's literally probably the setup that they would have had for like, yeah, a Joe Biden or someone. Oh, and yeah. our the person that interviewed us also did interview Joe Biden. Yeah, actually Jill Biden's wife. Oh really? Yeah, I saw in 2016. I had to Google it, do my research. She was really nice, but damn, like journalists know their shit. For sure. Yeah, yeah. They knew a lot about us as well. And Natalie was an amazing interviewer. Mm -hmm. They also want to capture us in our natural habitat. And I feel like, dude, uh, this is our natural habitat right now. What do you want us to do? Yeah. Getting Starbucks and, and just snacking away and burping and looking yeah. at crows feed their babies outside. Uh, okay, well. Okay, there should be coming any second now. Oh, shit. showroom and all but they don't have anything in stock we're, we're learning that everything needs to be ordered weeks in advance they um yeah, this stuff's nice like the, like the guy was super nice he's like oh i have like maybe like one thing one in, thing in, in this whole store and stuff and he brought out he brought it out he brought up like the book that shows what it is and it was eight hundred dollars for a faucet we both i think we both like looked at the number and we're like oh cool thank you yeah, thank you. Oh, we're gonna need two of those. Yeah, uh, what are we doing here, Helen? This is the expensive place. I don't know. People on Instagram, y'all DM me this place. People on Instagram, y'all have y'all y'all too rich. You're too rich. Please, 
this is not at our our level, okay? Can I just like pulling my hair out of these? Look at these like super nice shower grates. It's like this is where you put your feet on. I know. I bet that's yeah. I bet these are like hundreds of dollars. Yes, I want. I want. I want my water to come out of a swan's mouth. That's cool. Oh. Wow. One day, babe. One day we'll get here. I'm trying to figure out what white to get for our walls, interior and exterior. These look so similar. We're gonna be testing out some paint colors. We have a little mini roller here. Four piece mini roller. I think this was like $2.99 from Dunn Edwards. And we have two little sponges. So what we have here is the brightest of the white. This is the cold white. And um, I haven't used one of these mini paint rollers in a long time, so I'm super excited. We have cool white. We have latte froth. This one is Swiss coffee, and this one is whisper. Don't they all look different? <laughs> oh yeah. Did you just dip holding in? How does this work? How do we do this? Oh my gosh. Oh. Okay. There we go. Whoever names these colors, it's very accurate. Doesn't it look like latte froth? No. It doesn't. It looks the same. It looks the same as that? Yeah. It's definitely warmer. Babe, you can't honestly tell me that you can really see a real dif like a real difference between these, right? Like one has like a drop of blue, one has a drop of black. So that's why it's like a little bit, the tone is different depending on sure. the lighting. Sure. But can I tell a difference? No. Okay, I just want you to be honest. I wonder if any of you out there can relate to this. When I was younger and I would get sick, my mom often told me that I should take a lower dosage of medication than what was recommended on the bottles in US pharmacies. She said this is because the doses are generally set based off of research that is done usually on white men and I am not a white man. My body and my biology is totally different. As Asian Americans, we have unique health concerns. And if we share our health information, it may help researchers address health problems in our communities. Research studies in the US have rarely considered Asian American people, and it is well past time for that to change. The All of Us Research Program is the largest and most diverse health resource, and they wanna gather health information from people from all walks of life for health and medical research. Why is it important for many people from the Asian American community to join the All of Us Research Program? Many of us share similar diets, uh, lifestyles, environments, um, and many of us share similar genes. All of us researchers can take this information and look for patterns in our health. This may show why some people in our community are more likely to get a disease than people from other communities. Our heritage is rich and our communities are strong. We need researchers to hear our stories. The more people who join, the more information researchers will have and the more they will learn. Ask your friends and family to join now to make a difference at joinallofus.org slash ABG. We are visiting the newborns. Oh my gosh, there's two of them. Look at your babies. Say hi to the camera. This one's Sadie. And this one's Haley. I have Haley here. They say that she looks like me. We look like twins. Twins! <laughs> oh no! I know it's a little bit funny, but you have to wear it. You wear butt I don't know that I, I never thought I would see Mel from this angle. <laughs> Hello. That's the password? Fired. <laughs> I think Janet's turn. <laughs> All right, let's see what happens with Raya though. The evil droon where we, where we awakened. Oh no, the dark spirits are back because the gem broke. Raya hoped that Sisu could bring back her father. 
We're all got daddy issues. Yeah. Uh-huh. Yeah, we have to find the four gem pieces. Wow. Yeah. Amazing. Alana is gonna be our princess warrior. No. No. <laughs> Get it. You had that handkerchief thing hanging off your ass. Raya's cape. <laughs> Raya's cape was on your ass. I'm trying to figure out where to hide the gemstones. I'm gonna put one underneath the sofa couch. Oh, close. Maybe the other. Maybe the other side. <gasps> I don't remember. Oh, oh, there's the second gem. Good job. Ding, 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 ding. <gasps> ding, 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 ding. The third gem has been found by the princess warrior. We need one last one. You ready? <gasps> yeah, yeah. What? All right, so it's around dinner time and Helen and Flo have been super busy. They barely have any time to like make dinner at home. They've been ordering out a lot because of the house. And so um, I thought it'd be really fun to kind of make dinner for them and surprise them with the meal. Helen actually was feeling a little sick, so I'm gonna make her uh, chicken noodle soup. And I'm also gonna make them a uh, garlic eggplant and I have some Napa cabbage I'm gonna saute with garlic. I'm gonna also make tomato egg and add in some shrimp. And since, you know, Janet lives right there, I'm gonna make her some dinner as well. All right, so I got super busy and I couldn't document the rest of the cooking, but here is Helen and Phil's to-go box of food. And I also bought these like shots, like immune shots for her in case she needs to feel better from Trader Joe's. And that's Janet's bag right there. How oh, nice <laughs> are you? And then uh, Helen, you're feeling sick, so they threw us some things. Oh my God! And then I made like, soup too. Oh. Oh. Thanks, so Mom. Thank you. Oh, oh my God. I'm so excited. Hello, um, I am heading to my friend Cindy's um, to hang out. I actually got vaccinated for my second dose two nights ago and I was just completely out yesterday. So I feel really good to be feeling much better today and to be spending time with a friend from college. So I'm gonna be hanging out with Cindy. So this is my good friend Cindy. I knew her since college. Um, met at a toss-up, our Asian American org. <laughs> and yeah, we're just grabbing lunch today in Glendale. All right, so Cindy and I went to the Americana for lunch and we walked for 10 minutes and already my legs start to itch. I get these like marks on my legs because I'm scratching so hard. Okay, yeah, so we're at Cindy's pool. We might do the pool or the hot tub just to end today's hangout. Um, I might just go in the hot tub. 